Hey, what's going on, guys? Shane here from Rocket Pad Sound. Into <laughs> I can't do this shit. What's up, guys? You already know what time it is. It's time to sound design. So this is what we're making today. What's going on Rocket Parrot Sound Designers? Welcome to the best channel on YouTube for Serum Tutorials. In today's video, we're switching it up a little bit with Stranger Things Pluck. I hope you guys like that because it sounds fantastic and spot on to the original. So without further ado, enough rambling. Let's just go ahead and jump straight into the tutorial. Also, if you're new here and you haven't already clicked that subscribe button, make sure you do yourself a favor and click that subscribe button for weekly Serum Tutorials. Anyways, uh, let's start off with oscillator sub. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to be starting off with the sub oscillator, and this is just going to be our sawtooth waveform. Very simple. Okay, drop this down to one octave now. We're actually going to be using three layers of saws, the sub oscillator, oscillator A, and then B as well. So go ahead and drop this down to uh, negative one. So we are down one octave. And now moving on to the noise, we are simply just going to put this on alpha noise and just kind of put this down to around like 20%, nothing too crazy. Oscillator A now is going to go up three voices and the whole concept here guys is we're, we really want to layer in the sawtooth waveforms to create that nice atmospheric pluck that we hear in the original track. So by turning up the voices, uh, we start to create a little bit more dimension into the sound. And by turning down the detune, we are simply just turning down the amount of space between these three voices. And we want something just like that. The reason we are using an odd number for the detune, which is three, is because we have one mono voice in the middle. So we have one single sound, and then we have the other two that are kind of going around for the extra stereo width. So we have one mono, and then the two to follow. Okay, now on to oscillator B here. We are going to go ahead and turn on to five voices. Like I said, odd numbers are key here, and that is literally all we're gonna do. So now we're left with this pretty cheesy synth. Uh, we can go ahead and go into our filter, and the low pass 12 is actually gonna be key. We wanna go ahead and turn this on for all of our oscillators, because this is going to be a pluck that does follow envelope one. So now we're talking about envelope one, we can just go ahead and take a look here. We have the attack, we could turn up. Oh, let's turn off the filter for a sec. Okay, and here we're just going to go ahead and turn down the sustain. And that's going to make it a lot more plucky, okay? Turn on down the decay, so the amount of time it's going to take for that sustain to drop. And then just adjust this curve down a little bit more, so it's a little bit more intense. Okay, and then of course we're going to want to drag on a little bit of release, so it has a little bit of a tail to follow. All right, perfect. Now let's take a listen to what it sounds like in context, context of the sound. Okay, so as you can see, we already have the building foundations. Stacking the saws is actually a very important part of this sound, um, as you can hear. Uh, you know, just by having the different layers, we have one more detuned, one central, and then one that's just kind of down an octave, which makes it sound a lot more thick. Nice little trick for your own music. So now into the filter, we're going to turn that on. And as we already turned that on for all of our oscillators, we're now going to grab our envelope number one and put it onto the cutoff. Perfect. Now we're going to take our macro, which is going to be, you know, whatever macro you want and we are going to make it so that this macro is going to go back and forth. So we need to go into our matrix and now select the type. So now it's going all the way from the highest point all the way down to the lowest point. So now we can go. That is sounding great, very, very close to the original, but we're not quite there yet. We want it to make it sound perfect. So now what we're gonna end up doing is we're going to now go into the effects and we're going to turn on our compressor. Turning on our compressor, we're now gonna select our multi-band uh, option to be on. So now we just turn on our multi-band compressor part of it, but it's gonna make the sound sound a little bit too compressed. And as you can hear, it messes with the tail and the release. So what we're gonna wanna do here is turn up the release. That way, the compressor doesn't over compress and end it too quick. So, that is sounding pretty good. Now we can just finish it off with a little bit of reverb. 
and of course a hyper actually we're going to turn off hyper we're just going to be using our dimension here which is going to increase the size of the sound altogether And that's all you have to do to make the Stranger Things pluck. And it sounds awesome. So if you guys like this video and you're not already subscribed, which I know a lot of you already are, join the family by clicking that subscribe button. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. We get literally just give away free stuff every single week. So if you're not subscribed, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, without further ado, my name is Shane from Rocket Parrot Sound, and I will see you when we hit 50,000 subscribers, which is probably the next video next week.